Shakur Show. I'm your host, Queen Amadai Shakur, and this is another dose of your daily vitamins. Okay, I just had to get on here and tell you all that nefarious lie that was such a, an asinine explanation uh, from Diddy's attorney about why there was, in fact, so much baby oil found at his residences, saying that he probably bought it in bulk from Costco's. Well, here's the thing. Costco is saying that they don't even sell baby oil. Okay, so please pay attention. Uh, so look at this video of them actually uh, discovering it at his residences. that I told you all the other day when I played that, I don't know if it's real or not or just a joke. But nonetheless, it's still hilarious to watch. But Costco just dismantled Diddy's lawyer's bizarre story of why a thousand bottles of baby oil were found in the rapper's house. A lawyer representing the rapper claimed that Diddy bought the baby oil in bulk from Costco, but TMZ has claimed Costco denies this. Now leave it to TMZ to go dig up the dirt and find it all, okay? Now the claims were made by Diddy's attorney, Mark Agnafilo, after an enormous supply of baby oil was found by police at, at properties belonging to the rapper. Okay, so police have carried out raids at the properties belonging to Diddy. We already know all of that. And so he told TMZ's Harvey Levin, I don't know where the number of 1,000 came from. I can't imagine. Now, this is what Mark Agnafilo said. I can't imagine it's thousands of bottles of baby oil and lube. I'm not really sure what the baby oil has to do with anything. Now, Levin explained that it could be used to lubricate as a lubricant for an orgy. Uh, which I find also nefarious because that's clearly what it was being used for. Now, Agna Philo replied, I guess, uh, I don't know what you need a thousand for. One bottle of baby oil goes a long way. I don't know what you need a thousand for. Now, he then went on to say, uh, Diddy has a big house. He buys in bulk. I think that they have Costco's in every place where he has a home. I mean, have you sat in a parking lot of Costco and seen what people walk out of there with? Uh, yeah, sir, I actually have when I was waiting on someone and I never saw anyone leave with a bulk supply of baby oil. Okay, please make it all make sense. Now, with that all been said, he says, I don't think it was a thousand. Let's just say it was a lot. But TMZ has now reported that Costco informed them that none of the companies U.S. locations, not a one, carry baby oil, seemingly putting uh, paid, seemingly putting Agnophilo's claims that that's where Diddy got all that oil from, that that's the source and that's the reason and that's the excuse and that's the explanation for why he had over a thousand bottles. Yeah, that's not going to fly. Okay, that is absolutely not going to fly. And you know what else isn't going to fly, beloveds? Uh, these people going around here saying that the baby oil had drugs in it, that it was spiked. That's not going to fly either. Because as I told you, you know, anyone with an ounce of sense should know that the feds, they're absolutely going to investigate and do testing. They have forensics, they have scientists, they have all of these people who take care of those things. Okay. Uh, there's a job for people uh, where they test things to make sure it is what it's labeled as. So there's no way that they thought that it was baby oil when in fact it was actually something else, okay? So all this whole story with Diddy is just getting worse and worse by the minute as the days go on. I mean, how does his attorney prove, you know, how does Mark Agnafilo, who I'm really shocked that he's doing and saying all of these foolish asinine things because this man's high profile. He's supposed to be a big time attorney who many celebrities hire and he's worked on some very high profile cases in the past. So I'm just wondering, how does he think that he's going to be able to prove Diddy's credibility, that Diddy isn't a whole liar when he him, himself has been now caught in lies. And that's not the first one. Okay. So I just have a whole lot of questions about this. And let's not forget that they came out today saying that he's going to let Diddy testify on his own defense to speak for himself. This is absolutely going to be a sideshow, a circus. It's going to be a whole fiasco because Diddy is absolutely going to be up there telling lies. That's just a fact. First off, he already lied and said that it was all a money grab, that these people were making all these things up, that everybody just wanted his catch and wanted what he had, that everybody was just hating on him and that he didn't do any of these things. And they're trying to tarnish his name and his legacy. You all remember things? He said he would fight tooth and nail, fight until the end to clear his name. 
That's what he said. And then after he said all of that, what do we have? Well, we have that video of Cassie being beaten brutally by him and viciously in a hotel in 2016. And then after that came out, then what did, did he do? Well, I'm so glad you asked. We all know the rest. He told that ignorant lie. Okay, he got up there and told that that uh, fake apology where he lied and said, you know, that he was in a dark place and that he had therapy and counseling. Now, I'm not going to say he lied about the therapy because maybe he did actually have therapy. Maybe he even went to anger management because he was at least years ago, you know, uh, ordered to have at least one day of anger management. Now, for someone like Diddy with all of his, in, you know, his uh, intimidation and all of his threats and all of the other nefarious things he's been accused of, I don't know why any judge or anyone, period, would think that only one day of anger management was going to suffice. But nonetheless, he got up there and did that fake apology to Cassie and said that he had had counseling or that he'd been to therapy and all of that. Did he really go to therapy? Well, I really don't know, but it sounds like a lie. But I will say this, if he did go, we all can see that it clearly didn't do any help. It didn't change anything about Diddy because he still is someone who's quick to anger. He's still someone who allegedly threatens, coerces, uh, coerces and puts paws on people. So yeah, I don't think uh, that that was, you know, really factual when he made those statements about being in the dark place and getting therapy. Now, he was in a dark place. Yeah, he was always in a dark place and still is. And that's because Diddy is full of darkness. And by that, I mean negativity. OK, his demons have taken over and clearly they're at the wheel. OK, so please pay attention. Now, with that all being said, don't forget to tune in this evening. OK, at about 730 on this channel, same time or same place, because I'm going to be talking about some of that darkness. Going to be talking about the satanic rituals and all of the nefarious things that go on within the music industry. And Diddy was all party and privileged to these things. And look where it's gotten him. So hopefully some of these other artists will get their wake up call and turn their lives around and realize that the only way is through the most high. Okay. The devil's not going to lead you anywhere, but down a path of destruction. Okay. And a thousand bottles of baby oil. Yeah, that's absolutely. Okay. A recipe for disaster. And just think about how they were using it. They're using it as a lube. Uh, they're putting it in the front door and the back door. I mean, can you think about all kinds of STDs and STIs and all kinds of you know, the funk in the air that had to have been rampant. Okay, clearly I'm doing too much, but I'm just saying, I want you all to think about that. I can only imagine the smell that they all had to endure. Okay, so anyway, please pay attention. Diddy's lying, his lawyer's lying. Uh, this is not turning out good for him and it's only getting worse. Okay, so likes up, everyone, please like and share. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Be sure to click that notification bell and click the word all so you're notified each time the Queen Goddess goes live. Peace.